Hi everyone, Vito here. I'm the founder here at Atarim and today I'm with Thomas from Design Box. How are you doing, Thomas? Not too bad. Yourself? How are you doing? I'm great. It's good to be here. And uh, today we're going to talk about uh, how Thomas managed to uh, deliver a complex website six months faster than a similar website that he delivered before joining Atarim, even though the client was a bit more on the difficult side. So we're going to explore this project and uh, Thomas's experience uh, just to see how uh, we can all learn from this and systemize our work, deliver project in a much quicker timeline and uh, without with a lot less stress. So thanks for joining me again, Thomas. And uh, uh, how about we start by you telling us a little bit about uh, Design Box? What do you guys do? What do you specialize in and about yourself as well? Yeah, thank you. Um, so yeah, um, I run a company called Design Box. Uh, we specialize in digital marketing, uh, um, but we specialize also in membership website design, which is our, our core niche. Um, I've been running the company for around just over five years now. I've been in the industry for about 10. And uh, yeah. So uh, what would you say uh, makes uh, Design Box uh, unique? Uh, you know, like the, the, our, our ecosystem is becoming more and more competitive, especially over the past couple of years. And if you've been around for 10, you know that it wasn't used to, it wasn't the case when we first started. Uh, so um, how do you guys differentiate? What makes you guys like, uh, uh, what makes customers come to you specifically? Yeah, sure. Um, so obviously websites, I would say are becoming more and more complex and the client needs are also becoming more complex where <laughs> there's features there's new devices and uh, businesses are going all virtual um, so it there's a big need for for change and with us being in the industry for such a long period of time um, it's enabled us to see what works what doesn't and been able to adapt to and innovate to, to change in industry. We specialize in membership websites and that really allows us to focus on a lot of them features and a lot of them fun functions that a client needs in order to build recurring revenue and build an online, an right. online community. That's awesome. And so I want to try and take you to the beginning uh, before uh, before you joined the, our our platform. And um, how did your process look like? What was what was your day look like uh, when you were delivering projects? Sure. So there was a lot of emails, um, a lot of emails. <laughs> um, I, I think there was quite a lot of frustration. So when when you have um, big projects and very big complex projects, you'd find that you'd have to invest a lot more time for the client to nurture them, um, yeah. which is never a bad thing, but um, for for general feedback, for general reviews, it can be very time consuming. And when you've got a deadline to hit, um, it, it, can, it can always be a problem. So um, before using Atrium, we, we would have a very simple process where we would get into the development stage and it would then be a case of showing the client what we've built right. and waiting for the emails to arrive. And they would come in the, the tens, <laughs> the tens and randomly throughout the night or <laughs> the weekend. And so you'd have all these emails to deal with and you would then have to document all these, all right. these, bullet points and these feedbacks and even sometimes you get drawings that were sent an email and things like that so you'd have to work out what the client is referring to um, what they're looking to change or what might need to be adjusted for, to suit their needs we would then have to put that in a project management tool and we right. would then have to brief the team with what we've learned and what the client is trying to communicate with us so as you can imagine, we would then have another meeting with the client and we would then have to go back through. And sometimes we might not get it right every single time because the translation from the client in an email or in a scribble or in a Word doc has, has not come through accurately. Uh, there might be two pages that might be very similar and it, it, there, there, there could be quite a bit of frustration or confusion at that point. Um, 
So as you can imagine, the time scales might go slightly longer, which right. again always doesn't doesn't appear to both uh, appeal to both sides to, to us because we want to be paid and to the client because they want to go live. So it enabled us to have the communication uh, to be a lot more streamlined. And so when you were when you're going through this, because this is such a standard way of doing this. This is how I used to run my agency as well. You, you'd get a request from the client's email. Uh, well, you were on the lucky side because I didn't hear WhatsApp mentioned once or Facebook <laughs> Messenger or phone calls or this guy or voice messages. That was the worst. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then uh, but then you had to annotate everything into uh, a Google Doc or some kind of a spreadsheet and then also bring this into the project manager so we can track the time properly and make sure that the team knows everything that needs to happen. And then the team would come back to me for every single uh, request. So like this is really the state of our industry and we've already involved like four or five different tools before we even started um, uh, uh, working at all. Yeah. And so, and so, like, what kind of uh, problems were you looking to solve when uh, uh, when that process uh, was created? Like, when you were doing this copy paste from one platform to the next, how did you look at this? Like, what was the mindset in terms of uh, this is what the system should look like? Yeah. So I think clients are very visual. So sometimes, sometimes getting their point across is very difficult um, when they visually know what they're trying to give feedback on or what they know doesn't look quite right. So the problem that it solves is that they can give an instant answer and we can instantly understand. So straight away, there's there's no having to plan, explain to your team and brief it into a project management tool so that you know they're going to get it right it's it's there in front of them they can log in they can see the task that's outstanding and they can they can attend it straight away so it it, it solves a massive amount of time and frustration from both sides so when you were i, I want to check try and take you back to the to that old system or that uh yes. that that uh um way that you were working uh before before we got into the uh before we got involved uh, so how are you trying to solve these challenges? Because it is a huge waste of time, mostly for you as the agency owner, because you are the person that moves all these parts, I guess, from uh, from the clients to the team, to the clients, to the spreadsheets, and to all of those classes. So how are you trying to solve this in your way? So we, we tried loads of different ways to solve this. And in honesty, we never we never come to a solution that worked for us. Um, we tried to get the client educated with our project management system right? and get them to create the task in the project management system. No, but no. then that opened up a can of worms. And next thing you know, they're, they're managing your whole team and, right. and going out of scope. So, yeah. so we, we removed that one from the equation. We then tried to create our own documents in Google Docs. And we would then educate the client into how to give us feedback in Google Docs, right. um, tell them to do screenshots, um, and 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 educate them in that method to give us feedback. And again, depending on how good of a client you've got and how um, up with up with technology they are, that also become quite difficult as well. So. We never really come to to a great solution. It was a case of what works for the client is what's going to get the project over the line. And the biggest problem with that is you're putting all your eggs in the client's basket, hoping that they can communicate in in a way that you, is going to work for the business. And um, so the can, system changes every time with every client. You just kind of um like uh like trying to adapt to whatever works for them instead of having something that you know works for everyone exactly yeah so then then you go into a whole new realms of trying to stay in scope and right. it, it, it become very very difficult to stay in scope when you're 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 handing the keys over to the client and hoping hoping that they're going to solve that problem for you when they're looking to you 
to solve that to them. So, um, yeah, it become very difficult. And how did you um, um, how did you feel when you were going through this process? Like, how did you how would you describe your own frustration as uh, as the person running the show? Um, yeah, there's a lot of frustration. Obviously, being a business owner, you you have sales that you have to hit uh, at the end of the month. So if right. you if you have deadlines, if I've got a website that has to be live this month in order to pay the team and make right. sure the client's happy, then um, you know it's it's quite frustrating when you know the problem isn't entirely the client's fault and it's not entirely your fault it's it's communication right. um so yeah there was yeah it's just again i feel like there was a lot of frustration from both sides so you know and you don't want it to get to that point where um everything's slowly becoming irritable when it actually should be excitement it's it's creating the wrong environment for a client we should be creating ex excitement for the client, not frustration. Um, and so what you then found is you would then launch a website and the client was in a very different state of mind than what you would have hoped them to be. And they would have got the end product and they would have been happy with the outcome, but the feeling would would not be the right one. So, yeah. Um, yeah it's like it a just to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, we do get a lot of people that are very nervous as well. So, you know, you don't want, you don't want, you don't want that sort of vibe when, when you've got a website that's due to go live. Right. Especially because we know uh, that the, um, that the real profit from clients comes on the back end. It happens uh, not, uh, not on the initial project. The profits comes on the additional work, the care plans, the marketing plans, that all of those other stuff that, uh, that they will ask for years to come. Uh, if we nail down the first step, but if if they're just like drained out of their energy, they're probably just they just just want to get it done with, you know. Exactly, and the thing is, is the website is the start of a business relationship. This client, you know, so they're going to be looking at marketing, and there's going to be a lot more opportunities for for us as a business to help their their business grow. Now, if the if the first thing you've done is frustrating, <laughs> time consuming, um, and ended in a bad way, um, then obviously you're not going to get any future business from that client. So you're then going to have to do all that hard work again in order to create a new relationship with someone else, because it's, it's been quite frustrating with a previous client. So if you can take that frustration away and, um, bring the excitement into what should be, you know, um, an exciting point of your business, then then it opens up a lot of opportunities. I even like to say, like, we want to build that momentum, you know, instead of uh, instead of dragging it down, you know, throughout the project. Uh, and it, it feels like in, in the industry, sometimes uh, that's the expected behavior that uh, you would start on the high note and then you would start just like, you know, going downhill from there uh, throughout the project. And for a lot of us, and for me as well, for years, that seems like, okay, it's just hard. It's just hard work instead of just trying to find that right solution. So uh, when did you f first hear of uh, Atarim? Or you joined us when we were still at WP Feedback back in the day? Yes. Yeah, so um, I think I, um, I heard from an event we went, uh, with Lee Jackson, right? At Agency transformation, and I, I heard I heard some uh, feedback on. I think he did some beta promotions on LinkedIn previous to that. So yeah. I had heard that there was something coming, and I remember we we were at the event, and I think I pulled you to the side. I think we went. To, it was at the hotel, and we were having a few drinks. Right. And uh, yeah, so I, I got a sneaky peek before before it was launched. Um, so yeah, I was I was pretty much sold at that point. That's awesome. And so what, when you saw it, what, what kind of piqued your interest? What made you say, this is it? Well, there was, there was nothing out there at the time that solved it in this, in this particular way. So um, when it comes to design, we, we have a process that we follow for that, which is great. 
Um, but when it comes to development, and sometimes there's an element of design when something's built, there was right. no easy way of giving feedback. And so just to have that that tool in your arsenal, um, straight away, it's just an easy easy answer, really, to, to have as part of your process. Um, because there is just nothing. There is nothing out there that does this in this way. That's awesome. And so we since started working with it, with it and you've been using it for quite quite a while. Uh, what kind of results have you been, um, have you seen uh, since starting? Well, um, quite funny enough, we, we've just recently showed it to another client that's now going into the completion stages of their website. And um, they're quite difficult to work with. Uh, they're, they're not very up in technology. And so there's a lot of nurturing that we have to do from our side. And I just had to send them a link. Um, and they were like, oh, this is much easier than I thought. So suddenly they're excited because not only are they see their soon to go live website, but it's just really easy for them to just go through and, and give their feedback. So what they thought might be quite difficult to voice is actually um a, a breeze really so um so we've 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 kept that excitement it's oh it's quite straightforward i need to tell them what what i want and what i what i don't want um sometimes they leave comments and say this is great <laughs> okay that's not really a task but great we're happy we're happy you, you like this part of the website um <laughs> Yeah, so it's it, your thunder, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just it's, it's kept momentum flowing, really. So, you know, the, the next step is really on them. We don't have to educate them on this difficult process of, of sending us feedback. So it allows us to say, right, give us your feedback by next week. You've got all this time to go around the website in your own leisure. Uh, yeah. We'll catch up next week. And... Uh, we will go through all the tasks and make sure they're all completed for you. And there's there's no barrier uh, that we have to overcome when it comes to that at that point. And then it's a lot easier for me to go and project manage that and say, right, when you give us that feedback, we'll get the updates done and we'll look to go live the following week. So it's a lot easier to set a deadline and expectations than, uh, right. than it was before. And how is this uh, looking from your from your side as the project manager, as the agency owner, um, especially in, um, in needing to delegate some of those requests uh, to the team or all of the requests to to the team members? Are you manually um, uh, pointing out each point in there, like like we used to do before with the, with the spreadsheet or with the Google Doc and stuff, or? What's the uh, how how are you seeing that that kind of result from from an agency owner point of view? So yeah, previously we would have to allocate time. Uh, we would have to um, educate a team member as to what they've got to do and when they need to get it completed by. Um, now, in honesty, it's a little bit lazy from my point of view, but um, I am a, I'll turn around to a member of staff and say, "There's a load of tasks in there for you. Can you get them done by tomorrow?" And that's about as complex as it gets, to be fair um where before you know i'd have to really work it out and really figure out what we've got to do next and they might have some questions to come back and you still do sometimes uh, get some questions but i can actually delegate a developer to, right. to that client so project, yeah. they're taking a little bit of the project management away from me and being able to give their professional feedback and make sure that it's done so it takes me out as the middleman i just need to make sure that it's done by a certain date so right. yeah, it, it, it makes a, makes project management a lot easier. Um, that's awesome. And then from uh, from your team's point of view, like, do you feel that they are um, that it kind of empowers them to do the work faster, more efficient, or is there is there um, um, maybe like uh, uh, removing the barrier between them and the client um, has helped the ongoing collaboration between the team members and the client instead of you being there. Um, needing to manage all of those communications? Yeah, definitely. It's helped them to build a relationship with the client as well. And that's really, really important because as a business owner, you can't be around 
every minute of the day when everyone you don't needs want to be around. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you want to be managing your business. Yeah. So it allows them to build a relationship with the client and the client to feel that, you know, the team can look after me, not not reliant on top. It's okay, we know the team are gonna be able to help me with what I'm looking for. So yeah, it's 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 really allowed us to sort of build on that and it's it's made them accountable for what they need to do next because they've told the client that they're going to do an update they've told the client that they're they're going to get this fix in for them so um it really helps on that so as a project manager you have to make them accountable for a task where right. now the client's making them accountable for this task or they're making That's themselves awesome. accountable for this task so it really takes that that middleman away from the the project and with your time not being uh, wasted on those uh, meaningless kind of back and forth tasks, um, uh, what kind of areas in your business or in your life have you seen uh, an improvement in? Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot less stress. Um, I don't think you'll ever get rid of stress running a business, but um, it's just one more thing to tick off the list that I don't have to deal with or to, to, to cringe when I come up against right um so yeah it's 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 nice for me personally because i feel great okay this client's happy i can now think about upselling this right. client another service that they are going to need to promote their business so i haven't got that 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 um that fear of thinking oh god they weren't too happy with these updates that we had to get across the line that took a month longer than we planned. It's a case of, you know, we know we're going to get a good review. We can, we can leave them the task of leaving us on review when the website goes live. But we also know that we're going to be able to create a long lasting relationship. So it's for me, it's peace of mind that, you know, the project's going to get over the line. The client's going to be accountable for giving us the feedback we need. And it's going to be a lot more straightforward. That's awesome. And um, as we're kind of wrapping this this one up, Tom, uh, if you would need to quantify like the ROI, the return on your investment uh, for this system, um, uh, thinking about the time, thinking about the additional work that managed to come out of uh, of you utilizing this for uh, for uh, the um, for the long time that you have so far, um, how how would you go about it? Um, it'd be very difficult to work out the ROI because in honesty, we use it for so many different projects. Um, so from small to, 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 to really complex projects and, but I know I'm saving days, um, in return to even just a basic project. So, you know, you're going to have to have additional meetings otherwise to get that communication across. Um, so when it's a complex project, I know I'm going to be saving a lot more time. It could be weeks and the deadline is actually going to be a lot more accurate. So, um, yeah, to be honest with you, the return on investment is huge in, in the sense of time. Um, and in the sense of, um, the, the customers, uh, long-term, long-term value because they're going to be spending more because they're going to be happy with the outcome. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, there's a good return on investment. With Adrian. That's awesome. What made you decide on going with Atarim? Um, as, and I know that a lot of people that are watching this video right now, uh, they're kind of on the fence. They're trying to really understand if this solution is right for them. So what made you go, go over and uh, just come on board? Um, I feel like if if you want to create a seamless process for your business um, when it comes to web development or web projects in general, um, then that is going to be a, a piece of your tool set that you're going to need um, to to make sure that you can show clients visually uh, what you're referring to and so that they can actually come back to you and and give you um the answers that you're looking for um so yeah i don't think there was much thinking from us um it was a pretty obvious solution that we had to look for 
Um, but if you're if you're looking to streamline your processes um, and make them a lot smoother um, for the business, then it's definitely something um, you need to look at. And who do you think this is? This might be a good uh, fit for. Um, I would say uh, definitely WordPress agencies. Right. Um, yeah, anyone anyone that's pretty much working with any WordPress website um, is definitely uh, a good fit. Um, I, I would say even small or large companies. Um, so even if you're a freelancer um, or you're um, a com well, we're an agency with ten employees, um, and it's 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 not changed. The need has not changed from being a small company to to a slightly larger company. Um, we our, our situation hasn't changed. So anyone that's a WordPress agency or a freelance web designer, this will yeah, this will be suitable for them. So with someone that is listening to us uh, right now and watching this video, uh, why should they take action right now and join us? Um, well, the longer that you don't use Atrium, the, the longer you're going to have uh, frustrating clients or you're not going to have time that you could have saved putting it into other parts of your business. So time is so valuable in business uh, and anything that you can do to not have to spend a huge amount of time to develop in the business that's that can get off the ground running then uh, yeah it's, it's an easy answer so you, if you, if there's a tool out there that's just going to save you time the minute you install it then then it's it's, a, it's an obvious answer that's awesome so uh tom how could people learn more uh, about you and uh, about design box uh yeah sure so they can find us on linkedin uh, we're a little bit active on there every now and then, so we'll we'll leave some some articles every now and then and some um, some tips. Um, or they can come and find us on designbox.co.uk, uh, where we've got some resources and we've got a, a new download section that's coming on the website soon. Um, nice. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for sharing your uh, experience and your story. And uh, thanks for everyone that's been that has joined us and watched this session. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Thank you.